man. Oh man. Do your own. Oh man. What's up guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of Fishing More Outdoors. As you can see from behind me, we are set up in the Big Bite Fish House once again. And as you can probably see from the title down below today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a ice fishing live well. And then after I make the live well, I'm going to kind of describe to you guys kind of the benefits of using a live well. And then hopefully after that, we can maybe put some fish in that live well. But before we do that, if you guys haven't seen this face before, hello, my name is Murray. Uh, a lot of my friends call me Murda. And yeah, if you haven't seen me before, I do lots of like fishing, hunting, basically anything outdoors. If you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor and smash that subscribe button because we post videos like that like every other day. But I don't want to bore you guys too long. One more thing I would like to add is thank you so much for clicking on this video but yeah I don't want to bore you guys too much so let's get right into building this uh, live well on the ice as you guys can see I'm only going in the ice probably uh, a half a foot to a foot guys can kind of hopefully see we just cut eight holes like I already mentioned about a half a foot down now I'm just gonna shovel out all the excess snow okay as you can see we got all of the snow out of the eight holes I might add these are pretty lined up I thought it was gonna be a little bit more sloppy so all I'm going to do next is I'm going to I'm going to go down right here probably about two inches and then after that I'm going to make a hole going all the way through the ice right here and I'll, I'll kind of show you what to do after that okay I'm gonna take my auger go right on the edge of this That's all I want. That's all I want there. Now, right here, I'm gonna leave a little bit of a gap, probably about two inches, and I'm gonna drill all the way through right here. broke through. I'm going to put the auger in reverse and I'm going to shoot out all the ice and snow under the hole. I'm going to take all this access stuff, put this down the hole too. Once again, I'm going to take the shovel and just kind of clean this up a little bit. We got her kind of nice and clean, about as clean as we're gonna get it for now. The next part, this is how you how you fill up the live well. This is pretty cool. All I'm gonna do now, guys, I'm gonna put my auger back in forward position. I'm just gonna hold it here. There you have it guys, a nice shallow live well. The fish cannot get out unless they somehow crawl over the ice there. That actually, that worked a lot better than I expected. I've done this before, but this is probably the prettiest one I've ever done. All right, I'm gonna go grab the scooper real quick. Let's get this thing nice and clean.
And there you guys have it, a fresh homemade live well. So some of the benefits of using a live well, you know what, that generator's bugging me. Let's, uh, let's bring this into the Big Bite and I'll talk to you guys a little bit more. Welcome back to the Big Bite house, guys. So there is definitely uh, several different ways of making a live well in the ice. I've actually done it like four other ways where you just make one hole open in the bottom or if you, if you, I know some people just try to make the little, uh, if you know an auger, it has that little diamond piece at the end. I know some people just try to make that go through, but I've definitely found that way to be in the easiest, just making about a half foot, a bunch of holes and then making that little two inch, that little two inch hole and then making the full hole and then just kind of then just kind of holding your auger there and letting it go and letting the water splash up but I guess some of the benefits of using a live well during ice fishing is I guess the main one doesn't really apply for us just because we're so late in the year I think uh, March 1st is just right around the corner so it's been uh, it's been pretty warm out so it doesn't really apply here but if it's like negative weather super cold if you're out hole hopping and you want to you know get a bunch of pictures that day of fish if you make the live well you, right when you catch the fish you can just hurry up run over there throw it in the live well and then you can have time to like get your cameras ready and you know get all your stuff set up and if you're out pan fishing you can straight use it as a live well you can just put all of your fish that you're gonna take home you can put it in there let them swim then when you get home they'll be nice and fresh and not just a solid block of ice it is a lot of work to do it but I don't know I think it's definitely worth it I mainly do it for pictures a lot of time we're filming we don't really have time and we don't really want to keep the fish out of the water too long to switch the camp to take the mics off and switch the camera to picture mode and and get the picture all dialed in. It just makes it a lot easier just to rush the fish over, get it in the water, and then figure out your camera stuff after that. So yeah, I really hope you guys learned something. I hope that you guys try it at home. Another thing that's very crucial before I forget is you definitely want to bring some twigs or some kind of wood from the woods to put in your hole to let it freeze over so that no other cars or trucks or even just people walking falls in the hole. So yeah, if you do try it at home, remember to bring twigs, just like a spear fishing hole. You just want to put something over it so no one falls in it. Even a snowmobile they're hauling across the lake. That's the last thing someone wants to do is run into a spear hole. But anyways, guys, stay tuned. Uh, it should be getting dark pretty soon. I don't even know if I mentioned this yet, but we're hopefully going to be putting a bit or two in the hole. And we're just, like I said, we're going to be doing that just because we want to get some awesome pictures tonight. So that's what kind of triggered this whole idea of showing you guys how to do it. So yeah, stay tuned, guys. I believe this the next scene you're going to see is going to be either myself or one of my buddies reeling up a Let's go. Now you just give me something to think about on my drive home. I've got some Oh my god. We got him. We got him. Thank you, Brandon. Just oh man. Oh man. Oh man. Do Oh man. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You know what guys? I haven't Is even there... told you the species we are fishing for yet. Look at that! Oh my god, that is a beautiful little burbot. Okay guys, so as you can see, we are not ready at all for this fish to get awesome pictures with it and stuff. I mean, I was just laying in bed watching Netflix. So, I'm gonna put on the Crocs really quick and we're gonna go throw this thing in the live vault and get ready to get an awesome picture. And as you guys can kind of see, I've been doing my best to keep the hole open kind of all night. It kept kind of kept freezing. It's it's getting cold out now, so I've been coming out about every hour and just uh, keeping the hole open. All right, I'm gonna bring this camera inside. We're gonna take the mic off and we're gonna get some awesome pictures really quick. All right, guys, as you just seen, we got three awesome pictures. I'm gonna now, well actually, I need to bust this hole open really quick. So I got my awesome picture. As you can see, this burb is just swimming perfectly right now. That just allowed us to take our time, get awesome pictures, and uh, didn't cause any stress to the burb. But as you can see, he's just sitting in there looking good as ever. I'm gonna go ahead, I got this big old scoop. I'm gonna use it to grab this burb. And I'm just gonna put it right down the hole. Heck yeah, guys, let's, uh, let's get back on the tripod. 
right, so as you guys can see, it is pretty beneficial using the live well on the ice. I think one of the top reasons I like it so much is because both Brandon and I, Brandon crushed those pictures by the way, huge shout out to Brandon. Brandon and myself are both uh, kind of novice uh, photographers, so we try to shoot as much as we can in manual mode and pictures. It takes us a little bit to dial in our, you know, to dial in our, our picture. So that's one of the awesome reasons uh, the live well comes into play just because it takes us a little bit, you know, you don't want that fish just laying on the ground or laying out in the snow. You want to kind of get it back in the water. I know when I don't drill a live well, I usually just kind of stick my hand in the water with the with the burbot's head kind of in the water, and then that way your hand gets all cold and it, it just sucks. So yeah, live well is definitely a yeah, pretty, pretty solid idea. Also, I just made a burbot video probably uh, a week ago, and a lot of you guys were wondering uh, what I use for bait for catching burbot. I hate to get my bedspread all wet, but here we go. This is just a big, heavy, glow-in-the-dark spoon, uh, probably ounce weight, and then I just got a bunch of, of uh, half torn apart fat heads. There's probably four to five total fat heads on that hook right now. And if I'm being honest, let me put this back down. My favorite bait is shiners, but uh, everywhere in my hometown right now, uh, they don't have shiners. They're sold out everywhere. So we've just kind of had to make do with the fat heads. But yeah, anyways guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, I taught you guys how to make a live well. I caught a burbot uh, in bed. That makes it even cooler. I got to catch it from the comfort of the big bite fish house and yeah we got some sick pics if you guys could like this video share this video smash that subscribe button hit that bell next that subscribe button that notifies you whenever myself posts a video and i guess all this other say dudes yeah start fishing more we'll see you next time